the top commander for U.S. forces in the Middle East, telling Congress just this morning that he was not consulted before President Trump declared that U.S. troops were going to be coming home from Syria. Here's General Joseph Votel testifying before the Senate Armed Services Committee. Listen to this. General, were you aware of the president's intention to order the withdrawal of our troops from Syria before that uh, was publicly announced? I, I was not aware of the of the specific that announcement. Uh, certainly, we are aware that he had uh, expressed a, a desire and intent in the past to depart depart Iraq. So you weren't you weren't consulted before that decision was announced. We were not. I was not consulted. That's a big moment. I want to bring in CNN Pentagon correspondent Barbara Starr on this. Barbara, I, I know you know this, but I'm just going to say this one more time. This is the top U.S. general for Syria. Now, so when you're looking at this, and, and, and Votel says that he was not consulted about the withdrawal, what else does he, is he then saying about the fight in Syria, the strength of ISIS right now? Well, let's go back to this moment. I was not consulted. Not, not consulted by whom? Now, I don't think you would expect President Trump, who doesn't really get down into the weeds of military details, to pick up the phone and call Joe Votel. That's not likely to have happened. But what this is really telling us, he was not consulted by Defense Secretary James Mattis, General Joe Dunford, the chairman of the Joint Chiefs, because that decision by the president also took them by surprise. It right. was a shock to the Pentagon. So this soundbite from General Votel tells us an awful lot about how surprised the military has been about this decision.